Metro, Metro City, City America. Oh, there's a Capcom. More Capcom. Yep. <laughs> Think Ryu, Ryu has money? <laughs> Oh! Just dropping that bomb. True characters consume as much fan ink as Darkstalker, Seductive Succubus, and Street Fighter's high kicking bun head. Let's see. It's hard to think of any more, any more famous for their beauty and knowing she's a deeper backstory that's than some fan art would lead you to believe. Hey, I'm on. How much do you know about Morgan's Morgan story? A uh, little bit. It's depressing how I, how I, who have played Dark Stalker, that's Dark Stalker game. What? Know more about Morgan's story than you? Uh. <laughs> do you know about Do you know about Lilith? Yes. Do you that's know supposed to be like her... That's Morgan like split in half because her power was too much or something. Do you know something? Yeah, I said I know a little bit. Okay. So aboard the Spencer Lane. Okay. Bruce? Let's see... Bruce McGiven. Resident, Resident Evil Dead Aim! We got oh, so obscure! Shit. <laughs> we got so obscure! We got so obscure! We got so obscure! We got Dead Aim! I had a fact, you know, when it said Spencer, I was like, wait, is that our RE reference? But then it showed Bruce, I was like, who the fuck is Bruce? <laughs> we got so obscure, it's a game that, that literally, if to, or to peak play it, you require a PS2 controller and a PC mouse into your, onto your PS2. Oh. Because the game really wants you to use the left, the left stick to move, but the, but the, but, but mouse to aim. Man, it's hard to recognize you, Bruce. You actually look decent, as opposed to how you look in Dead Aims, where I go, oh my god, is that your face? <laughs> I we were getting Resident Evil Dead Aim. That shows we're desperate for characters, isn't it? Well... Man, do you, do, you, do you think Capcom thought that this would actually help promote Dead Aim? Probably. You sure that Dead Aim is in Japan is just, is actually straight up Gun Survivor 4? Well, Gun Survivor 4, Biohazard Heroes Never Die. What is this thing? Okay. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah, it's a four, yeah, it's a four series and a, and a, and a light gun sp spinoff stuff. That's why I need a mouse to play it properly, but the less. That's reading about Morgan. Let's see. So much gushing. I, I, I can feel the people's hormonal energy in these words. <laughs> I mean the wiki page, not what's going on in the game. Oh. Tower of Dracula? Capcom... So Capcom had a freaking idea for Capcom vs. DC Universe that they wanted to do at some point. <gasps> Why didn't they?! Because DC are dicks. That's expensive. God damn it. God damn it. <laughs> they wanted to see Morgan versus Wonder Woman. They said they, they just wanted to see Morgan versus Wonder Woman. I said a distinct disadvantage. I'm just saying, Wonder Woman. You're gonna be flattened. You're gonna be folded. God damn. You already know what my team would have been if that game was real. Batman, Morrigan, and uh, Virgil, or Dante. You went with Succubus, Bat, and Bug? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Okay, now we're done for Sex Appeal on the list. The embodiment of sexual temptation. That's the third top babe in games. What the 
She's a succubus, of course she's supposed to have a sexual temptation. So, like, I, I just love the fact that she's ranked third, and I'm like, but well, then what's two and one? Yeah, what is two and one? He also, also, the journalist called her Capcom's answer to SIK's My Shiranui. Oh, for fuck's sake. That's what, that's what they put it. Oh, yeah, that's Let's see. UGO <laughs> <laughs> ranked Morgan fourth in a 2011. Is that the mansion? Yo, let's go! No, okay. no, they're, 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 they're still on the boat. It's a special lane. Jesus Christ, they really like to mimic the mansion a lot, huh? No, it does, as long as, as, long as their ideas are hard. But yeah, 20, 2011 list of foxiest fighting game fe fighting females to ever be pixelated. <laughs> foxiest females? <laughs> foxiest. <laughs> game front staff featured her twice on her 2011 list. How'd you get featured twice on 2011 list of greatest boobs in video game history? <laughs> okay. This was rated 2011. I feel like you get shot. So, so we thought about that 2011. Listen, w w after 2013, that's when shit went to hell, right? 2011 was still decent. That's cheating. <laughs> she was counted twice because number thirty-seven was for dark was for her and Darkstalkers called the reason twelve-year-old twelve-year-olds packed packed arcades in the late nineties. Listen, man, I don't, I don't know what you're applying. I'm trying to say, ain't nobody going. I don't think about it. Things happen in the arcade. Never mind. And number eleven is from Marvel's Capcom version, being fifty per, being fifty percent of all Comic Con. Woo! Who is this? Regina from Dino Crisis. Oh. <laughs> That reaction. <laughs> Dude, Dino Crisis doesn't, doesn't have anything anymore. I said, man, Dino Crisis 3 happened, and then it was all over from there. Only thing I know of Dino Crisis was the costume in, like, the old RE game. Yeah, which is not in the remake. Yeah. Devs. Doing. We put all our time and effort into resistance. Yeah, I bet you're resisting something, all right. <laughs> Anywho, back to this, back to this, back to sex appeal. China's net, oh. ease, China's net ease put Shenko. Nine Chinese Net East put Morgan at fifth spot on their on their list of top ten big chested sex goddesses in video games. These lists are so specific. <laughs> Morgan's breasts, not character, her breasts, were also ranked as the eighth best in gaming history by Rich Shiver of Joystick Division. I am outing so many people who are gonna get who are gonna get destroyed by current year. <laughs> I am outing so many people. <laughs> With <laughs> Italian edition of Tom's Games rank Tom's Games ranked Morgan's cleavage. We're getting very specific at this point. Even more so than before. I thought breast was specific, cleavage is specific. As a second best second best second best neckline in video game history in twenty twelve. Well neckline. Neckline. What even is this? As well as a crew among the hottest video game breasts of all time by Playboy. In 2012, Morgan was ranked as the third hottest character of hottest character video video game history by Larry Hester of Complex. As the fifth sexiest woman of video games by Spa Spanish IGN. And the seven seventeenth hottest video, video game character by Christine Butucci of, of Gadget Review. In 2013 oh my god, so, so how long that says Oh my god, I still another paragraph. <laughs> Still more. I was just rank. I was just ranking Morgan in so many random lists. Well, old school hotties that still got it. <laughs> what is this? Hottest, uh, top, 
was included in the list of 11 hottest babes ever hit the video game world. Staying at one thing that video game babes have over the real life variety. I like where this is going. Over the real life variety is that it's much easier for a girl's made of pixels to rock an absolute ludicrous outfit and still look hot. She doesn't look a, doesn't look a year a year a, a, she doesn't look a year of her 300. And her appearances across the Capcom fighting franchises prove that Cup is an excellent eye for the female form. There's no name attached to this. It's UGO. Uh, outing so many people. 2011 list of 50 hottest get girls in games. Oh my god. Undeniably seductive. This is kind of cringe now. <laughs> Nine sexiest bad girls of video game land. I'm not surprised there's still more material to keep talking about more again. I'm surprised there's more we can keep going with them still going. My god. Hottest like, I get liking a character, but calm down, Jesus. Hottest female video game protagonist. Ika. Fucking hell. <laughs> Commenting the 2010 list of 10 hottest video game girls of all time. Commenting for by Creative Online. Commenting that she is more than just a, 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 an atomic wonder. She's one of the single most most sexy stylistic ladies in gaming land. We're really hurting for words, aren't we? At this point. Oh my god. In fact, Morgan is so popular that many knew of her sultry looks who have never touched a Darkstalkers game. Oh my god. <laughs> MSM, MSM Malaysia what included this shameless succubus among the 20 hottest women video game history. It's still going. <laughs> UGA included her among the 99 hottest fictional women of the year, calling her inclusion the best thing about Marvel vs. Capcom 3. Multi multiple assault. Fire! <laughs> just, just go! Just, no, no extra ammo. Just do gun. Just do gun. <laughs> that is a that is an amazing animation. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh. She has, she, has, she has a lot of stuff and she has constantly gagged and she constantly drops random, random crud. She has infinitely, infinitely deep sleeves, that is the joke. Also, she's actually two people. Oh. Jeez, it's from all the way over there. From all the way from outer space. When it comes to 90s video games, Darkstarkers Morgan is the definitive poster girl. A poll for the most erotic girl in the history of fighting games conducted by Japanese web portal Goo. I like the fact that it's called Goo. Had Morgan take the fourth place out of 50 contestants in 2016. She was later for the third in the 2018 poll. Back to other re other reception. Morgan was included on the list of top Ooh. chicks behaving badly. Oh my god, he's in all the project. He's in all the crossroad games? Jesus. Her outfit described as one that would make Eva Jenna Jameson blush. Eva Jenna Jameson. <laughs> a former <laughs> that voice. <laughs> a, for a, a former porn actress. Oh. Let's see. Uh, what else we got here? The, mo what, the most shameless and least surprising character cliche of all time, which is the half-naked woman. <laughs> Shoot him for me. L Morgan was featured on the list list of ten of ten babes who shouldn't meet your mom by Game Daily 2008. Ten on the list of ten game girls you wouldn't dare to date. By, by Virgin Media. Okay. Rich Knight of the Complex pitted her against Agent Rain, a Battle of the Beauties feature, comparing them to the to compare them to the sexy goth girls you were too afraid to ask about in high school. <sighs> and yet, and yet, and yet, Morgan won. 
Imagine having golf doors in high school, couldn't be me. Let's see. Richard Coombs of Blizzard Thumbs ranked her as number one video game woman you wouldn't you wouldn't want to be with. Is that what is that as that would probably be the scariest romance you could ever be in? Complex featured Morrigan's bloodlust on her list of 14 aspects for a perfect Valentine. One video game girl at a time. To build a perfect woman on Valentine's Day 2012, Game Revolution included an alleged rumor of Morgan's romance with Nintendo's Princess Days Unit 2014 April Fool's Day feature. Who would believe that? Jesus. It's the night the night I'll talk about the 1995 1995 cartoon show. That's already brought on a good show. Called the characters old and creepy. She looked frightening at most clo close ups. Who are you? Uh, Jen from Tekken. Ah. The worst video game cartoon cartoon in history. Man, let's see a competition. Dang, Dark Stalkers, Joe. Yeah, we got a whole party here. Hey, memory serves you right. We currently have Capcom Cross, Capcom Cross, Capcom Cross, Capcom Cross, Capcom Cross, Namco. <laughs> Finally, the, the tables one have franchise. turned. <laughs> the one from Namco franchise so far. <laughs> Why is he after an underage boy? I mean, it's better than him going go, going after the he underage two girls. I mean, none of them are good situations. So I'm just, I'm just, I'm just saying. At least, at least Jin's got double form. Jeez, guys, at least buy him dinner first. The anime version has been received much better. For instance, Brian Williams of Gamers Republic chose the extremely erotic scene of Morgan taking a bath as the highlight moment in his review of the third episode. But apparently she was apparently she was really bad in the comics. What can I find about Resident Evil Dead Aim? Mostly because I forget. De okay, mostly because I keep forgetting anything about Dead Aim. Like how they put a note about Bruce and Ling being in Project, not that Project Cross, I'm going across Capcom. Let's see. They gotta be like that, Jin. There's nothing interesting to talk about when it comes to a dead aim. We're I mean, not surprising because it's dead aim. Oh, dang. There's just nothing. Let's see. So I find anything interesting about Shienko. Ah oh, god, there's still more Dothlinger characters in this game. There's still more. No. Let's see.
Nope, no interesting notes addendum for Shanko. Other than people finding her hands creepy. I mean, people, she's a zombie, what do you want? I can't find anything interesting from Dino Crisis. You know, aside from the entirety of the third game, you don't talk about. There's a manhua based on Dino Crisis. Sure, why not? Nope, no, that's not that really meant to talk about when it comes to time traveling dinosaurs. I'd say something, time traveling dinosaurs. Oh, time traveling space dinosaurs. I mean, we played Saints Row 4. Man, Dino Crisis 3 is weird and really bad. Let's see. I to find nothing. I come not go. I come. I can't find nothing as interesting as the giant essay that was freaking Morgan's Wikipedia page. on the Wikipedia page for Darkstalkers, it shows the cries of people for HD remasters and remakes of Darkstalkers. That would never happen. Face it, people. Darkstalkers was never a big hit. Face the reality. Also face the reality of Capcom also sabotaging your hopes and dreams. Let's make a port of all three games to PS3 and to PS3 and 360 and tell nobody about it. And they go, oh, it didn't sell enough. I wonder why. Ooh, what do we got here? Yeah, we're okay. I'm gonna put on my stuff. In 2013, Capcom Senior Vice President Christian Svensson wrote, "We're not, we're not, give, we're not giving up." But no points in opening sales and res response. We're to any other fighting trains that we put on the same platform, given the frequency urgency of requests we've had over the last several years, and quality execution. It's most fully featured and probably best project that's, of this type we've done. And for people jump to the wrong conclusion, I'm not blaming fans who did who I'm not blaming fans who did buy and support the brand. Down to those guys. Thank you to all of you. I'm more disappointed but when I misread it, misread the information in this particular case. There's no dark stalkers or not deadline at Sunday Eagle Comic Con twenty thirteen Matt Matt. Matt Dog, Matt Dog, the Capcom's new fighting game manager, said because Dark Star's Resurrection did not perform as well as we would have liked, you never know what the future may hold. But Street Fighter is definitely not dead. There's nothing Dark Star is on the immediate horizon for sure. Now, what's that statement's actually true? I wonder, considering you know they they fed us a lot of crock when it came to um freaking uh Mega Man Legends Three. So I wonder how much this is actually true. Let's see. What do we got? Yeah, how about second, second cross street first? Supposed to be a thing. Wow. Baratus claims they're still working on that. 
Uh, I'm gonna go with this announce. At the same time, a Street Fighter cross Tekken. Yeah, apparently, oh, apparently in the picture, in, in a trailer for the Vita version of Street Fighter Cross Tekken, they put the message Dark Slock, Dark Slocker, Dark Slockers are not dead. Place in a Vita version of, of Street Fighter Cross Tekken that has Coma Grass from Infamous in it. That's still weird. Seeing Coma Grass in a Street, more Street, Fighter, Street, Street Fighter art style with Jody sized muscles. What else do we got? Wow! So I put up a video clip of someone getting angry at Devil May Cry 5, saying how the game has been nothing but confusing, and they understand nothing, and then they get to Dante putting on Faust, and they just take off they just take off their headset and walk away. Because they understand nothing. <laughs> what? I don't like how that was trying to put the camel's back. <laughs> Your favorite moment of the game. Give it to this person's hell. Rip. Man scared off by a wack by wacky woohoo pizza man dancing like Michael Jackson. I mean, it's true. That's what scared him away. That's what made him go. That's it. I'm done. I'm done. Sharp break, see what's going on. What's going on in the world? Who's dead now? That was supposed to be a, j a joke, and I realized the current situation is actually a lot more depressing. Mm -hmm. I found an image that you'll, that you'll appreciate. But I'm scared to find out if it'll show up, if it'll show up on screen. I'm not gonna send it yet. Yeah, let's just wait till the level ones. Lest we get what happened when you did that during FF5. Map is still going. Yep. Just Jin, Jin's just been doing so much work by himself in the back. I see. Well, that's supposed to be a special. Okay. I didn't see a single air juggle. What is this? This is garbage. The Wonder Street Fire Cross Tekken turned out the way it did. Oh, it's, 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 it's even made by Capcom. It's been by Monolith Soft. Good thing Project Crossstone, they learned the art of Tekken air juggling. Hmm. Oh, sweet Jesus! I mm. thought we saw all the Street Fighter characters. There's gonna be more. Oh, cool. We're not done with Street Fighter characters. There's more. Because that's what I wanted. More! Can the can just make a racist comment? Yep. Did the American man just go? 
Chinese lady. Does she know the other Chinese lady? Yep. Kenny can't be doing that. What the fuck? Kenny right, can't be doing that. How much strength and clenching do you think? Actual world. <laughs> Very specific. Distant pass. You really helped me out here, game. <clears throat> Medieval world. Y y yeah. Heaven. Okay. Hell pit. Okay. What? It'll affect both worlds. We'll come very soon with great light. Nobody's really realized it yet. Alright, we forgot about the Sid Rage. It's right. I forgot about them too. <laughs> Alright, it's supposed to be Rage in, Sh in Shamu Shim whatever Shamu's game. Blondie and red coat guy. Oh, and these people with the robot chick. Xeno Saga. Shout out to you, huh? This is the first you brought this up, and it sounds super important. This could Shamu. No. No, 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 What? Armando? Yes. We need to sing happy birthday to the 15th anniversary of Namco Cross Capcom. That's today? It was either today or today or yesterday. Well, I just I just saw a tweet talking. I just saw a, a tweet on Japanese Twitter talking about it. Yup, yesterday, May twenty May twenty six, two thousand two thousand five. Mm -hmm. Well, now <laughs> you picked a heck of a time to play Babco Cross Capcom. I bet. Congratulations, you officially pulled a Maximilian dude, where you decided to do something. And AD Namco Theater Japan. Oh. Where you, where you decide to play something and then decide Flunder Momo gotta go gotta go gotta go research research try to research real good fast <laughs> my 87 beat, 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 beat them up arcade game well there's Japan only Sakura let's see because Okay, that was game by. See, I'm getting my way for it. Not. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I just read how the character said I'll be back, and it says this character hasn't had a game since 2014. Rip. <laughs> Until then, she has been in port hell. Like she's been in other games, like Back Across Capcom. Felicia! Uh, oh, she does it at this. Interesting. <laughs> but yeah, it hasn't had a game since freaking. <laughs> since freaking. <laughs> until 2014. I'll be back soon. And she was never heard from again. Rip. <laughs> Let's see about this way forward game. One hour later, Namco Theater.
Ooh, Amazona, who are you? I don't even know what this way for game even is, but it looks like it's made on Flash. <laughs> I like how it even says how the character hasn't been a thing since been, been a thing for two decades. Rip. Yeah, this yeah, apparently this the sequel game is not with the character here, it's with their kid. Rip. Who the fuck are you? Bravo man! Gotta do research. How does he know? Are, are we back to Namco now? <laughs> uh, yes, both Wonder Momo and Bravo Man and, and Namco. And Amazona? Uh, Amazona. That's the wrong button. <laughs> what? Well, when I get any hits for Amazona? Rip. She an original character for this game then? Oh no, Wonder Momo. Oh. Apparently, we apparently Wikipedia didn't didn't have didn't have her. All right, we're back. And to the Project Cross Zone fandom wiki also has nothing on her aside from her name. Or not? <laughs> <laughs> we know nothing about this character. She's just listed as enemy. Felicia. What the fuck? Who are you? It's King. You're from Tekken. Oh, yeah, I don't know Tekken that much. It's freaking king! This uh, Wonder Momo sequel game, for what I've seen. You scared me for a second. No, no, it's not you. <laughs> no, because as you said that, I had like a weird Pac Man on, uh, on this video shown. Oh. So you perfectly timed that up. That's why I got scared for a second. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be like a cell phone only game, and that's the kind of deal. Going stripping on the streets. <laughs> she just fucking ripped her dress off. What can I find about Felicia? Aside from looking through Armando's box. He didn't have to not that, that, that nice statement whatsoever. I Good. I can hear you. <laughs> Don't worry, you'll, 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 learn, you'll, learn, you'll, learn, you'll learn the video later. Made some comment about it, Felicia. Don't worry about it, you'll find out eventually later. Morgan's the only one I had interest in. You're a heathen. How dare you? Freaking being all about Morgan with Felicia's right there. I mean, she's cool, I guess, but. Are we gonna have a waifu war? There is a waifu war, I just prefer Morgan. I'm not saying Felicia's bad, but that's my just my personal preference. You know me, Kenny, I don't argue about shit like this. There's no point. Mm hmm. Much of nice and guest appearances section. What do we got for Felicia? Uh huh.
Wait, what? In a Cartoon Network show called Mad, there's a one-off joke with, with, with Felicia. Oh. What's even what's Mad? I think it was like um a show that like parodied everything. I briefly like remember some of it. It seems like it. Seems like it. There was Waldo type of ske- type of type of sketch joke, but instead it's Where's Lady Gaga. Oh, the show had four seasons. Well, Kanda Momo. What is this lore? Okay. You're telling me this kid has the other set of superhero, a separate personality or something? Some Rosario Rampage. That, right that they're not, that they're not, that they're not conscious about, about it. Learn quick. That had more effort put into it than I thought they put. <laughs> <laughs> that was more effort than I thought they put. I was expecting a puff of smoke like everything else. <laughs> put your helmet on. Okay. I said put the helmet on. There. Let's see. Uh, Game Day listed Felicia as one of their favorite American female characters in video games. Nice. Apparently, in a in a competition, they had a competition that was called Queen of the Iron Fist. Freaking Felicia managed to beat out Katana, <laughs> but then lost to so immediately lost to Sofia on the Soul Series. Well, in 2016, Jury Magazine M M M, M Games Raptor. The second, the second coolest cat in video games. What's the first one? <laughs> According to Games Front, Phil Owen, Felicia's costume is quite elaborate, which means it's easy to f up. Uh, yes, they actually did put a uh, f bomb because it still got censored out. Sex appeal listing. Oh dear God, how long am I gonna be here? South Park is Morgan. We're gonna be here for a while. Uh, it seems pretty similar quotes to what you said about about Morgan. Let's see, what can you say about Cat Girl that wears something that wears something so skimpy it barely passes as an outfit? That see that implies Felicia actually. Oh, when is it going to be my fucking turn? Shut up, Jimmy. Go stand in the corner. UGO Network's Aubrey St- S- S- Sitterson ranked Felicia, or, or T, ranked Felicia among fighting his hottest woman, commenting the fact that we think about her purring when we scratch her when we scratch Scratcher pushes us dangerously close to the furry border. Ugh. Well, you gotta acknowledge that fact. Yikes. <laughs> Play- Playboy feature the free show among the hottest video game breasts of all time. Honey. 
All you need to know about Felicia is that she's extremely agile, emits piercing streaks during battle, and has starred, and has starred alongside John Talbane in more hentai slash fiction you could probably wrap your mind around. Oh, final fucking Lee. Same hey, morning, you might be random, but I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure, my, pretty sure people's brains can handle five. Sega Saturn Magazine described her as too cu too cute for her own good, questioning her viability compared to other characters in the franchise. Ninth most stereotypical character in video games, represented a nearly nude female fighter, commenting how the slutty in the slutty innocent fighter girl stereotype was blasted off the charts of Felicia. While added, while adding that she was an embarrassing and weak character on top of it, this kitty cat should be put down for good. What did the pit? What did the, what did they do to you? It really be like that. Should be put down for good. PC would include her in the list of video game characters that are supposed to be sexy but aren't. Show me on the plush where Felicia destroyed destroyed you. Please point on the plush with what with where the Darkstalkers character hurts you. ここ最近の地味毛量様さくらさん状況が聞けないちょっと聞けないよさくらさんそんなのその名前が出てしまう仕方ないのねそんなのそのの名前が出てしまう仕方ないのねそんなのそんなのそんなのそんなのそんなの
Apparently, Brawl Man got a comic series called Brawl Man Super Unequal Hero of Excellence, which included two new characters: Bravo Woman, a no nonsense, a no nonsense superheroine, and Brav and Brave Man, who is essentially, uh, you know how you know, I mean, you know how we got Battle Box for Mega Man. Yeah. Essentially, Brave Man, Brave Man's that. It's basically oh. an American, but the American box art of Bravo Man. That's all I can find on that. I have to look up information on Wonder Momo. All right, Raisha Shamo exists. So apparently within the context of Wonder, Wo Wonder Momo, her superheroism is actually supposed to be nothing more than the, 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 the part of stage play and not actually real. So it actually makes sense that she's like, this is a character I play. Also, apparently this game was known for some risque content, Armando. Oh, were you actually surprised? Well, considering this, nice, well, this is an arcade game for the, for, for the 1980s, from uh, 1980s from Namco. Now we shouldn't be. <laughs> but yeah, part of the game's mechanic is that, well, part of the stuff is that, part of risky content is that where Momo jumps, you can see her underwear. Oh! But not only that, as an actual in game mechanic, the photographers in the theater audience. Will actually try and take pictures of her skirt, and if they do, if you do succeed, that does stun you. Uh -huh. It's an epic mechanic. And one of the addition, one of the images that appear on the theater curtain at the beginning and end of some acts is Momo only wearing a towel. There. <laughs> Scary concert for 1987 beat em up. Yeah. It was also apparently Namco's last 8 bit arcade game. Before it was ported to the PC Engine in 1989. Man. Tell us what we can find. Let's see. Nope, just ports. Featured other stuff, such as Namco Cross Capcom. Other references, not much, not seeing much else. Hmm. Got a brief manga, has a brief anime. It was directed by Shifty Look, the same people who also made the Bravo Man manga, but also made that weird Namco dating sim. This is all apparently an attempt for Namco to try and revive their old franchises. As you can see, it, as you can see, it clearly worked, considering the fact that we, co we totally know what a Wonder Momo is, and totally didn't just find out five minutes ago. Yep. Let's see. Should I got an anime, an anime mini series based on the web comics. I 
I mentioned the sequel to the sequel game. So yeah, that game went to Android devices and Mac. It never came to PC. Then the Android and Mac version got delisted in 2015. Aside from that, not much else to say other than, yeah, people liked it. That's about it. They got a 21 out of 40 from from Famitsu. So what's Famitsu ever do? Other does stuff right there. Famitsu always shows every anything, and everything, anything and everything. No, fight me on this. If you do, you're a fool. Meanwhile, Fantasy Star, Fantasy Star Online 2 is now out in the West. It only took 5 billion years. They like them. It took 5 billion years in help of Microsoft. In help of Microsoft. Cause Sega refused to do anything. Excuse me to try and download this. Okay, it's a free to play on the low. So why not? Yeah, I'm taking a yeah, I'm in the middle of your freaking Black Cross Capcom freaking video freaking thing. Yeah, no, yeah, no, we don't get any second content to Project Cross of 1 and 2, but guess what? There ain't no there ain't no fancy start content in Project Cross of 1 and 2. So deal with that. And we also go delete random stuff to also, to also create, create more space. Because it's getting like 75 gigs, because of course it is. It's not 110. That's, uh, that's Gears 4. Oh. Because, sweet Jesus, what are you using that space for? The graphics, probably. Gears 4 wasn't even, uh, wasn't even over 100 gigs before, it got bigger. It's like, what are you using that? What are you freaking? How did you? How did you get bigger? How did you get bigger? Well, adding in no extra con no extra content. Yeah, I know there are timed events. The timed events don't count because they're timed events. Meaning it should still be on my hard drive. Phase one update right now, Jesus Christ. What else wants to update? My soul? Great no update for that. Why does the thing say with at least 11 gigs when, according to what Google did before, it was like the game required like 75 gigs? Was the information I found wrong? Was I lied to? Or is it one of those, or one of those things where downloads executable and executable wasn't installed for days? Yep. <laughs> what do you mean, error? RIP! <laughs> I keep saying error! Fatal error. There's just, yeah, there's just no, nothing to explain to you. There's just error. Also, like how we st I stopped talking about video game history and everything and just turned into a K trying to download Fantasy Star Online 2 video. Yeah. Will he ever be able to download it?
I'm gonna try canceling and restarting. Alright, let's try this again. Starting down. Ah, we didn't even get we didn't even download anything yet. It just immediately went to error. Ah. Welcome to my world earlier. Give me the fact Why are other things updating? But not the fancy star online too. Because yes. Other programs are updating. Fancy Star Online 2 is still an error. It doesn't even try to pretend to download, this automatically hits error. You, you don't even play with me anymore! You just immediately say no! Is an actual thing. Yeah. Okay. Am I the only one having this issue or something? It's just me? Exactly my mood earlier. Is <laughs> it just me? Piece of shit. <laughs> I was talking about that my brother, but it's like, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> maybe what if we'll come out after Mass 31 to the virus? <laughs> Yeah, yeah Fancy Star Online, people have been waiting for this for a long time. Like, Sega said they were going to localize this, I think, back in 2013 or so. It's, and they never officially, never canceled it. Well, they just kept, they just kept saying nothing for years. Like, Japan has had this thing on all sorts of platforms by now. And Japan isn't on Switch. But in the West, our only, our only options are freaking uh, Xbox and PC because Microsoft is really the ones making the servers yes like I wouldn't in fact they would actually boot you from the game if you try to if you try to play a Japanese version with uh, w with a freaking IP that was not from Japan well they would boot you out going get out of here foreigner man there's vocal light concerts in this game We're digging into some freaking Hatsune Miku concerts. There was trailers for the Sonic movie playing during the beta. <laughs> you had them advertising the Sonic movie to your face. And I can't, still can't download it. Well, I feel like I feel like Squidward. <laughs> gas in there to eat. No, gas in there to eat. No, gas in there to eat. Can I say anything else but no? Try asking again. Gas in there to eat? No! <laughs> the Magic Con Show has spoken! Oh, hell, the Magic Con. <laughs> oh, hell, the Magic Con. Still nothing. Wow. As we know on Twitter met Gen at my Gen Era so far. I guess I still got Xeno Xenoblade in two days. That's something bad happens to that too.
Yeah, no, but I'm seeing some, I'm seeing one person tweet. Tell me when it actually works. I got one person, I got one person sharing my pain. Are you winning, son? I'm waiting. Okay. I still got an error. The F is Benjamin. I don't know. Oh, nothing about Ben. I didn't find nothing about no Benjamin. It is just some random enemy. It's the, it's the Sen Namco president! Nakamura. He's the one who hit a manga. Toshi, that was your name. More the merrier, little do you know, Reiji, what will happen to you with future installments. Rip. Lots of characters. 